Welcome back to my new video and in this one I'll be talking about Manjaro. To get started we'll need to update our system so we'll become a super user and we'll run pacman dash s y u and confirm And now that the update has finished, let's reboot. Okay, and now that we're back, let's download the pass-through script. I'll leave the link in the video description. And let's go to clone or download. Download zip. And let's save it. Perfect. Now let's go to our downloads folder. And let's extract it extract here and now let's minimize all this open our terminal let's become a super user su and i recommend you use the su instead of sudo because there are some uh, echo redirects used in this uh, script and they will not work when you use sudo so su password and let's make this script executable well let's change the directory first so downloads should be manjaro master path to helper let's see what's in it and let's let's make the manjaro help executable so chmod plus x manjaro okay now that this is executable, let's run it. Dot slash Jaro help. And again, run it as su, not sudo. Okay, and now this line that begins in quiet, we'll have to add a couple things to it. So we can either get them from the website Intel IOMMU equals on or AMD IOMMU equals on, depending on your processor, and these two. So let's copy it, and let's paste it. This should be it. Now let's save it. Control O, enter, Control X to exit out of it, and uh, now the script will continue. Yes, to proceed with the installation of these packages. Okay, now we'll have to edit this one additional file. Again, we can copy and paste. So into the section that says modules, we'll need to add this. So let's copy it. Let's find modules. here and paste into files let's uh, copy and paste this and uh, lastly under hooks very end right behind base I usually put BFIO okay and now control O to save it enter control X to exit it will regenerate the initramfs and once that's done we'll have to reboot and hopefully the GPU pass-through will be ready to go perfect that's done. So now let's reboot. Now our system is booting back up. And we'll see this, this error. Uh, that's fine. It actually means it's working. Eventually I will fix the script and get rid of the error. But for now, if you see it, it should be working. Okay, now we are back up. Let's open our terminal and let's become the super user 
and let's run lspci dash k and let's see what we get here so my nvidia card the 980 the driver in use should be vfio dash pci and that seems to be the case so we should be ready to move on to the next step so now let's close this and open the virtual machine manager that will ask us for the password and let's create a new virtual machine we'll use a local image so you need a windows 10 iso and i already downloaded one it's under downloads next yes decide how many cores you want to use how much ram that's fine disk space and we'll customize it finish yes okay and we'll use q35 new efi apply we'll get rid of the tablet display spice sound console you can keep them start the virtual machine do everything to set it up and then add your graphics card once your windows is running or you can do it this way the way i'm doing it right now it doesn't matter so we'll delete all this and we'll add the gpu so whatever your graphics card is mine is here 900 and let's add the audio portion of the graphics card we need the whole thing and then usb devices so your mouse and your keyboard you can either do the usb host device and just uh, pick the mouse and the keyboard you are using so like this or in my case i'm passing through an, an entire usb controller so right here made up of three portions And either way, I generally prefer using the whole the USB uh, controller because you can unplug and plug stuff back in to the virtual machine. So, but both ways work. Okay, we have all this. And uh, now we will hit begin installation. Also, a little bit later when we reboot or when we turn off the virtual machine and have to start it back on, uh, the network will be down. So we have to mark the network to start up when the operating system starts. So we'll do that a little later. Okay, also boot options. Uh, by default, the first time it boots from the CD-ROM, but if you reset it, it should start from the SATA disk. So if, it, if it's not installed yet, you will have to mark the SATA disk if you reboot it before the operating system and finishes installing. Okay, let me switch my uh, HDMI cable. Okay, so now that it's booting, after I have been pressing spacebar button, I need to press any key to get it to start. So let's continue. Next. Okay, now let's shut this down and get things ready for the NVIDIA driver. Okay, so now that our virtual machine is shut down, let's close this. Let's go here and connection details. And let's check auto start on boot, apply. So that should guarantee that the virtual network is running when the host starts and that way we should avoid any network errors and things like that. Let's close this. Now let's edit Versh. 
in order to be able to install our NVIDIA driver. If you are using an AMD card, you don't have to do this. So let's become a super user and let's make our default text editor something other than VI. So export editor equals, let's make it Vim or Nano. We'll go with Nano to make it easy. And let's do this, Versh edit win 10, the name of our virtual machine. And we'll have to find this uh, line, features, and under it Hyper-V. And let's copy and paste this. Copy, paste, and again, I will leave the link in the video description for the Arch Wiki, where you can find these things. And next, let's copy this. And right after the Hyper-V. Okay. Looks good. Control O to save it. Enter Control X to exit. We're done with that. Let's close it and let's start our virtual machine one last time. Let's check device manager, display drivers. There we go. Just been updated or it's updating right now. The script should work pretty well, I'm hoping. If I need to update anything, I will update it later. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.